All right, so for our upper body, body self, myofascial release and mobility, we're gonna need a medium sized bed, a light bed, and we're gonna need a roller. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roll our big lat muscles. So I want you to lie on the roller, start all the way down at the bottom of the pelvis, and finish up nice and in the armpits. So we're gonna go 15 rolls each lat, and when we do it, I want you to think about just squashing down on the roller as hard as you can. If you find a sore spot, to concentrate on that spot for 10 to 15 seconds. Cool, once we've done 15 rolls each side, we're gonna use the roller again and go into something called an arrow stretch to mobilize our chest and thoracic spine, yeah? So we're gonna go one knee on the roller, bottom leg's gonna be nice and straight, hands are gonna be together. I want you to push your top hand over your bottom hand and then go all the way around, follow your head with your hand and finish up where you feel tight. Now, I'm pretty tight through my chest, so I can only get to here, about half a foot away from the ground. Some guys might be looser, some guys might be tighter. So just stop where we put whatever range you have. Once we've done one, we're gonna come back around and do the same thing. Roll one shoulder blade over the top of the other, go all the way around like this. Sweet, five each side. Beautiful, last bit of mobility for the shoulder blade. It's gonna go into a basic cat camel. So I want you to just set up in a quadruped position. I want you to push the ground away and the shoulder blades as far away from each other as possible. And then when we do the cat portion, I want you to pull the shoulder blades together and crank the neck up. So camel, shoulder blades away. Sure, I can feel a big stretch through my upper back, so I get my upper back to the roof. And then for our cat, we're pinching the shoulder blades together. We're just looking for a range of motion here. Sweet, once we've done that, we're gonna to go to our shoulder big three, which is internal rotation of the shoulder, external rotation of the shoulder, and protraction, retraction of the shoulder blades. So we're gonna start with ourselves on our bellies, and we're gonna get our palms and turn them upwards, and make sure our chin stays on the ground the whole time. 15 repetitions, uh, internal rotation. So all I want you to think about doing is pulling your palms to the side. Don't overthink it at all. Once we've done 15 there, we're gonna go 15 external rotation. So the palms are gonna be facing the ground, the chin stays on. And again, don't overthink it, just think about pulling your palms up to the sky. Once we've done 15 there, we're gonna go 15 protraction, retraction in our T-shape. So we're just gonna make a big T-shape with the arms. Again, make sure the chin stays on and the shoulder blades are gonna to come together and they're gonna go forward. And again, don't overthink it, just think about the shoulder blades coming together and coming back down, easy peasy. Cool, once we've done that, we're gonna work on a little bit of shoulder blade stability, so our serratus muscle. We're gonna get our lightest band, lightest band possible. We're gonna find something to tie it off onto. I'm gonna do it on this chair here. And we're just gonna go through our basic uppercut for our serratus muscle, and we're just gonna hold. So basically, we just wanna turn on the muscle. So we're here, we're in our uppercut position, our elbow's about a fist away from our body. We're gonna reach like that, make sure the elbow stays inside the hand, and we're just gonna hold here until, until we can feel the serratus muscle activate on the rib cage. I'm gonna hold here for 30 seconds. Hold, then we just repeat on the left hand side. The next thing we're going to do is external rotation of the shoulder, this time in an overhead position. So if you've got something to tie the band off that's a bit higher, that's better. For me, I don't, that's fine. I'm just going to go into a kneeling position and I'm just going to do an overhead press in an externally rotated position like this. Once we can feel it in the back of the shoulder blade and the back of the shoulder, nothing through the front of the shoulder. Again, I'm just gonna hold here and then just go for some tiny, teeny tiny repetitions, making sure the elbow doesn't move. And again, I'm maintaining tension through my shoulder blade and the back of the shoulder. 20 repetitions each side. Sweet, so nearly done. Our last exercise is gonna be a basic banded row just to turn on our middle, middle traps, lower traps, and just our back muscles in general. So we're gonna tie this band off, go into our banded row stance, I'm gonna grab it with an overhand grip, and as we pull, just gonna think about pulling the shoulder blades together like that and holding. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds, just making sure we can feel this one in the middle of the back. 